So this is a non-elementary integral. The integral of e to the x squared dx. Now normally you would define or you would solve, I guess, this as root pi over 2 times the imaginary error function of x. And there's no problem with writing it like this, except that it, it may not be a very satisfactory answer. So let's look at it a different way. e to the x squared. Think of how you write e to the x as a power series. Basically the sum n equals to 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. This is how you write e to the x, but we're not dealing with x in this case, we're dealing with x squared. So we're going to plug in x squared for x in this. So we have, this is still the integral, but then we're going to replace e to the x squared with the sum. So the sum, n equals to 0 to infinity, of x to the n, except x is x squared, and then the exponents, they multiply via x to the 2n, and then over n factorial, the x. Now we can switch these two uh, symbols, because if I write this out, right, if I write this out, we have the integral of, we have x, well, x to the 0, that's just 1, 1 over 0 factorial, which is also 1, 1, and then plus x squared over 2 factorial and then plus x. This is now, this is n equals to 2, so we have x to the 4th over 4 factorial. Uh, oh, uh, no, uh, this is supposed to be 1 factorial, this is supposed to be 2 factorial, and then that goes on like this. And then, how you do this, you integrate every single term one by one, and then this will be a sum of integrals. So really, it is okay to switch the two symbols. So we have equals to the sum, n equals to zero to infinity of the integral of x to two n over n factorial dx. Now, this n factorial, before we expanded like x squared over 1 factorial and then plus x to the 4th over, uh, over 2 factorial, this 1 over 1 factorial, 1 over 2 factorial, and so on, this is just a constant, so we move that out. We move the 1 over n factorial out of the integral. We have this equals to the sum, the sum n equals to 0, infinity, move this 1 over n out, and then we have the integral of x to the 2 n dx, and then once again x to the 2 n, n is like a constant, remember before we uh, write it out as x to the 2nd power, x to the 4th power, x to the 6th power, and so on. So this is actually just a regular exponent that you deal with in integrals, and you add one to the power, and then you uh, uh, and then you divide by the new power, we get this as the sum n equals to zero to infinity, and then this is one over n factorial. But you multiply by the antiderivative of this, which is one over two n plus one, actually two n plus one. And then now we can just, uh, one plus c first, and then we're going to simplify this. So, you could distribute the n factorial, but I like to keep it just the way it is. So, we have equals to the sum n equals to 0 to infinity of these two denominators multiply. And then the x to the 2n plus 1 will move to the top as a numerator. So x to the 2n plus 1, and then we add plus c. That is a, a legit solution to the non-elementary integral. Now, 
I would probably say that more accurately, this should be a possible solution because I haven't checked it yet because I have to compare it to the imaginary error function, which doesn't actually appear on my graphic calculator. So that does not work. But certainly this feels very, very believable, I guess. So that's the solution. Yeah, that is the solution to the integral.